What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Fiddle Tune Friday. I'm uh, super excited, uh, not just to be making another video for you guys, but also because things are finally starting to get back to normal with music. Um, I've been playing several shows over the past couple of months with my friends here locally, and uh, in the very near future, I'm going to get to finally reunite with my band, Audie Blaylock and Redline. Uh, we're going to be playing our first show in nearly 16 months, which is really crazy to think about. But um, yeah, I'm really stoked about that. And um, I've also been getting a lot of requests to come fill in with different bands uh, locally and slightly abroad in the region that I live in. Um, so my calendar for the very near future has gotten really full really quickly, and I'm extremely grateful for that. Uh, one super cool thing I got to do recently was uh, I got a call to come fill in for Mike Hartgrove for the Lonesome River Band. Um, it was a huge honor and a uh, really cool experience to hang out with those guys and play a couple of sets with them. Uh, they were playing like 40 minutes from my house and Mike wasn't able to be there. So uh, I really appreciate that opportunity. And if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you probably saw this video that I posted. Shout out to my buddy John Arnold for grabbing some video of that show. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, in that video, the instrumental that we're playing uh, was called Cumberland Gap, and that's a tune that leans more towards the old time side of instrumentals or fiddle tunes, and that combined with some other stuff I've been working on lately got me to think about uh, mixing up the type of fiddle tunes that I'm playing. Uh, for my Fiddle Tune Friday series, I've typically been doing just straightforward, traditional bluegrass fiddle tunes or instrumentals, and I uh, really considered adding in some of those more old time uh, tunes. So I want to do one of those for you today. It's called Ragtime Annie. And uh, it's pretty much a standard, I think, for most fiddle players coming up as students to learn. And uh, also, when I was a kid, it was one of my grandpa's favorite fiddle tunes uh, for us to play together. So yeah, I'm going to do that one for you today. And I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> 